uh, just released called Mystic Guru Dev. So I'd like to just say a couple words about this song, if that's all right. There are three verses in this song. The first verse is dedicated to my own Diksha Guru, His Holiness Radha song. You know, it's not just mystical in Mayapur or Vrindavan, but it can be mystical right here, like in Dallas, Texas, right? Some devotee here may be having the most mystical experience of their life right now. Remember that the magic is in the moment when you surrender to Krishna, wherever that may be. The second verse is dedicated to His Holiness Bhakti Tirtha Swami. I had the very interesting experience that we had been invited to do kirtan for Bhakti Tirtha Swami the night before he passed away. And we drove to Gitanagari and we sang for him outside of his room. And then they told us, you know, Maharaj had been in privacy. He had not been seeing anyone, just meditating on the Lord. But when he saw that it was some younger devotees who had come to do kirtan, they opened the doors and Maharaj invited us into his room. So we got to do kirtan there for Maharaj and he sat up in his bed. This is the night, this is the evening before he passed away. So then I had to go back to work the next day, but I knew, I didn't know, no one knew, but I knew that it was very close. And then my friends from Giranagri, they called me and they said, you have to come, Maharaj is leaving. So I left my workplace. I told them so they could understand. I said, my uncle is leaving this world. I have to go. And I jumped in my car and I was driving from Washington to Gita Nagari. And as the time passed, I was, there's a lot of curvy roads. And it was just, anyone knows, right, Shanti Shores? You go, there's a lot of curvy roads. And you go through the countryside where there's Amish people who drive horses and buggies still, even in modern times. And I was driving, was just driving so fast, I wanted to get there. And then I had a feeling, and my cell phone rang. I had this feeling, I know why I'm being called. And someone had sent out a text message that was read into voice message all over the world devotees, and I answered my voice message, and it was a robot telling me, we regret to inform you that His Holiness Bhakti Tirtha Swami. I was just like, so I put the phone down. I, what do I do? Like, I can like, pull over or go home? Like, I didn't, so I just drove and I got to driving. And I got to that same place that I had been the night before. And the door was open. And all the devotees were scattered doing services preparing for Maharaj to be carried to the feet of Radha Damodar. And I was just sitting there in that same place, singing for Maharaj. But the black lotus was gone. So then the last verse is dedicated to another great devotee of Srila Prabhupada, Bhakti Swarup Damodar Maharaj, who is a very dear disciple of Srila Prabhupada, and he is the Diksha Guru of my wife, and a very dear mentor and friend. He had a great sense of humor, and he was a wonderful kirtaniya. He used to do this dance where he would hold his, yeah, he would like hold his heart in his hand. And then when he would sing, he would throw his heart to the beat. So he used to organize these massive Rasalila death performances. So the last verse is, is uh, in honor of him. Thank you so much for listening, for your kind attention. I dedicate this song to all of our spiritual masters. How blessed are we? that we are connected to this Brahma, Madhva, Gaudiya, Sampradaya through the grace of Srila Prabhupada and his devotees.
dancing Rosalina Radha and her Lord they dance in perfect unison This next song I've been singing since I wrote it when I was 25. It's incredible how time flies. I'm now 46. Even the screen is surprised about that. <laughs> Did everyone hear Achuta's joke? Achuta is funny. She is as funny as she is short. Thank you! Here all weekend. So when something like this happens, you have only one choice.